Pisces, welcome. Always last but never least, heart spread for October, guys. A sip of Earl Grey tea. Kind of appropriate, last sign, uh, last light of the day. I hope it's still lighting up for you to see me out here. Uh, this reads who's on your mind, who's in your heart. It's for the month of October. It's kind of a biggie. Sorry to be a... Uh, no, not really late. Yours uh, is always, by the way, Aquarius and Pisces Day and Saturday. So, And uh, next week we'll be adding the singles. I'll be adding the singles. Um, so uh, this is if you have someone on your mind. Singles, if you have no one on your mind, you're totally and completely single. So I uh, did shuffle in between. Let's see what we got for Pisces. Spirit, something helpful. Um, we're in Cancun, Mexico. It's a little warm, it's not terrible. And five miles from the ocean, so you can kind of get the breeze coming through. Um, I can't complain. <laughs> I kind of miss uh, uh, this time of year. It's like the one time I really miss the most up north. Otherwise, I'll much miss, miss it. I'll see. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to have the star on the bottom of the deck. Manifestation going on, Pisces here somewhere. Somebody, this is you, Seven of Pentacles, where your mind and heart is at in and around relationships in October. Uh, and uh, just kind of uh, trying to get in a baseline for you, a little bit separate from the person you're thinking of. Let's look at your person, where they are in and around relationships and love, where their mind and heart is at in October. Okay, again, try to get a baseline on them. One thing about them, they're sincere. They very well might be an earth sign too. Uh, if you have any doubt about their sincerity, Pisces, they are very sincere. So you're coming in uh, with uh, questioning reciprocation issues from the past. Uh, very most likely, assuming like if you uh, always got too much, uh, you're probably not that worried about it. Uh, but if you weren't reciprocated and you gave more than you got and it's just, uh, you know, happened more than once, that's the energy you're bringing into this relationship. Now, right out of the bat, I, this person looks to me like they're gonna, they're solid. Like, like the moment you meet them, you might get the feeling like this one's different. This one's meeting me. If they're not immediately given back to you, they're they're meeting you with energy that feels good. Like you get a feeling that they got you. They're there for you. Like six of swords. Um, this is how you're feeling towards them. I feel like you're moving towards them in your mind. Um, with maybe that Seven of Pentacles was quite a hang up for you. Uh, you could be physically moving towards them. Again, I told you they got you. Um, so they might literally got you. They might say, come, I got you. Got a place to stay with me um, type of energy. And I get the feeling, too, that you might be leaving a relationship to do this, or you did in the past. This was the energy as you came into this relationship. In that uh, one in the past that you're leaving, it was where you were not reciprocated. And that's not at least how you saw them. Probably true. So, um, let's see how they're meeting you now. The Five of Cups. Wow. Very emotional. And they're facing back to the Page of Pentacles with their Five of Cups energy. And you see the two cups they always talk about if you watch any tarot that are upright behind this person. You know, when you're in this energy, everybody says, hey, you know, don't worry. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. And that's the last thing you want to hear when you're in the Five of Cups energy. I have to think of this because this is how they're reacting to you. That you may have triggered an old wound, you know, but you are coming towards them. I think that this, I was thinking to clarify it when I did, I think I got it. It's like they're having a little trouble with you being so soon departed from your ex person, marriage situation. Um, maybe more than they let on, you know. But those two cups that are upright are over here facing you on your side. Um, so I think like they're there for you because they are solid. But I think you should just understand it probably hurts them more than they let on. Um, there's, I, I think I'm good with it now, but you know, uh, Venus and Scorpio here. 
um, it's always hard. I usually try, I don't say anything about it, or I, I try, I recognize it. Uh, but you know, you can have that kind of a little a hurt feeling. Um, it may not even be necessary. Um, but I think like if anything you can do, kind of maybe not exactly talk about it, but like, you know, uh, if that feels right to you, like, you know, I'm all here for you and my heart's with you. Um, and you're moving in that direction. I got a kind of the sense too, uh, Pisces, almost that you're kind of moving fast toward them uh, because you want to console them. Like you see them in this energy um, where they feel you may have had to deal with the person in the past and you, you had maybe had to rebuff them, uh, ghost them or something. And then you're coming back. That kind of image could be a Mercury retrograde deal here. And you, you're uh, the one that's... Uh, instigating it here Pisces so nine of Pentacles advice from spirit this is important as uh, you know be firm in yourself um, don't give yourself away you got the seven of Pentacles here well nine of Pentacles knows their own work they're never going to accept less than what they're worth and they don't need to because they take care of themselves they're whole in themselves the nine of Pentacles are really whole really solid in themselves matches this ace of Pentacles well Hierophant, wow, this is the advice from spirit. I think this is speaking to a marriage. You know, a marriage or a long-term committed relationship and being advice from spirit, it's sort of like uh, uh, you're getting advice to be strong in yourself, uh, be self-contained, really. Um, and they're getting advice here. And the Hierophant, again, like the Five of Cups, is facing back at the uh, page of Pentacles here. I think their feelings about your relationship harken back to an uh, ill-fated marriage of their own. And I, again, I told you, like, you're triggering them. So this Six of Swords, or, when they're on their knees and you're coming to them, you want to console them. Keep in mind, I, they may not know it, but a lot of that energy uh, is not just about your guys' stuff. It's that past stuff triggering and coming up, you know, and that's what Spirit wants them to understand, you know. Um, there's probably... Uh, strong feelings around the marriage for them still I'm not saying they're in it or they want the person there's just something unresolved some closure that's needed it's what it seems like to me um, eight of wands wow uh, and let's see this is facing towards your person so this is spirit's advice for the two of you as a, in a relationship as a whole but it is moving towards your person here Pisces so it's now um, to pour it on you know energetically and this is a romance I feel like it's like uh, maybe you get there and they're on their knees and you're holding them and we're seeing here what's going on in all of this Pisces you don't have to lose yourself you can be strong and you know uh, it, there's already an element to me of this like we're um, it's uh, you're in the middle of this it's like are they reciprocating or are they not because you know, but I think it's okay. It's like they're on their knees right now. They're receiving you. And I think it's like you guys just have to have this relationship. I had this come up in a, another reading. And it's like in the same position. And it's uh, go out and have a good time. Enjoy the romance phase like that. <laughs> because you've got a Ten of Cups relationships. Congratulations, guys. Uh, so, yeah, it's a Ten of Cups. And it's the outcome of your heart spread Pisces. So... Ding, ding, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Go out and have a good time and then have a happy family. Maybe, wah, wah, make a family <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Like, subscribe, whatever. Share with a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Thank you.